policy. Take a look. The Department of Homeland Security Office of Inspector General released a report stating it conducted unannounced site visits to CBP and ICE facilities in and around El Paso. The report starts off by saying DHS was not fully prepared to implement a zero tolerance policy. There's also contradictions on the handling of asylum seekers. We are not denying them any anything. Well, We're just effect, saying we cannot do it at this yeah, time. Effect, the report yeah. states the government encouraged them to come to border crossings, but CBP managed flow of people through metering or standing on the international bridge, which may have led to additional illegal border crossings. The report says it finds that is a practice CBP has utilized at least as far as 2016. Here's the problem with that. CBP guidance states officers should inform individuals that the port is at capacity and they will be permitted to enter once there is sufficient space and resources. That guidance states officers may not discourage individuals from waiting to be processed. However, some officers in El Paso informed the OIG team that they advise individuals to come back later. We also saw that happening a few months back. Also in the report, CBP held children for up to 72 hours before sending them to HHS. El Paso exceeded the 72-hour period for 297 children with a maximum of nine days in custody. And as of the end of September, the government reported it had reunified or released 2,251 children out of the more than 2,600 that were separated from their parents under the zero-tolerance policy. Well, the